911. What's your emergency? Hi, yes, I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Pizza? I think you've dialed the wrong number, ma'am. I don't think so. Uh, do you still have the cheesy crust? The address? Sure, it's 235 Hayward Street, apartment 3F. Ma'am, are you in danger? Is someone making you feel like you can't speak freely? That's right. I understand. My name is Grace. Okay, and help is on the way. I need you to tell me how many people are in the apartment. Would a medium pepperoni pizza be big enough for two people? What are you doing? I said large. Uh, okay, so there's one other person with you. Is that who I'm hearing? Yes, that's right. Okay, you're doing really great. Can you tell me your name for the order? Um, the name on the card is Kristen Smart. Okay, Kristen, it is the person threatening you armed. Mm-hmm. Move the pot! Come on! Okay, if he's armed with a gun, I want you to ask for extra pepperoni. Extra pepperoni? Okay, so I'm Asian, as you can see, but I'm an Asian from Asia, so it's a difference than uh, Asian Americans, you know? Nothing bad about Americans. I'm in America, I love America, but I'm just saying, we're different. And based on that, I just want to say I'm so tired of seeing on TikTok that Asian Americans telling a white person or a black person or anyone in general that's not Asian to stop culture appropriating our culture. I mean, first of all, you're Americans. Like, if you go to China, if you go to Hong Kong, Japan, yeah, you look like us, but you're American. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you've ever been to Asia, you know we love when people share our culture. We love, love, love when we see foreigners in Chipa. We love when we see them in kimono. We love that shit. We love it. So I'm just saying, like before I end this video, if anyone ever need a permission, I'm saying no one should need a permission to do anything because like culture is meant to be shared. But if you ever need one because it's America, I'm Asian, like where your cheap out? Like I love to see it. Please let me know. Send me a picture, please. Also, there's some more like educated one. They would say, oh, like if you want to do it, do it the right way, the proper way. I mean, I totally understand. Yes, like do it respectfully. And they also say like, oh, don't sexualize our culture, this and that, blah, blah, blah. First of all, I don't know other people, but like in China, we sexualize ourselves. I have two cheap out here. Oh my god, my cat. Hold on. Hi. Okay, I have two cheap out here. I mean, these are not the crazy one. You know, some of them like have a hole here. Some of them are even shorter. But the traditional one is like down to the ankle, right? But mine is really short. Like you might not see it right now. And I'm not going to put it on because it's going to get bent. But mine is really short. When I put it on, I'm 5'10". When I put it on, it's literally right here. It just covered my little nana, you know, like it's just right there. It's made in China. I bought it in China. And they have all the other things too. It's for fashion. It's fashion. It's not just a traditional dress anymore. And I'm just saying, the problem is America. And I don't know how to fix it. And I don't think it will ever change. But I'm just saying, if you love Asian culture, just go for it. Culture is meant to be shared. Like, I know this is so long. If you are here, thank you for watching. Everything you need to know about pro-life conservatives from the legend George Carlin. Boy, these conservatives are really something, aren't they? They're all in favor of the unborn. They will do anything for the unborn. But once you're born, you're on your own. <laughs> Pro-life conservatives are obsessed with the fetus from conception to nine months. After that, they don't want to know about you. They don't want to hear from you. No nothing. No neonatal care, no daycare, no head start, no school lunch, no food stamps, no welfare, no nothing. If you're pre-born, you're fine. If you're preschool, you're fucked. <laughs> Conservatives don't give a shit about you until you reach military age. <laughs> then they think you are just fine, just what they've been looking for. Conservatives want live babies so they can raise them to be dead soldiers. And now my guard is back up. You want to know why my generation Gen Z doesn't have any role models? It's because we crucify them all. Uh, there seems to be a fundamental lack of understanding about the duality of human nature and the reality that there's no such thing as a purely good person. So instead of accepting the fact that good people can do bad things, we throw the whole baby out with the bathwater and then we lament at the fact that we have no one to look up to. 
and right now you can see she has an incredibly floppy head. So I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can fix that. First find the zip tie that's holding her head on and you'll want to cut it. Then you can just remove the head. Hey, yeah, I think my arm might be broken. Oh yeah, for sure. Let me just... No. No, no. What are you... No. Do you know this guy? This, is, this isn't allowed anymore. So. This is definitely allowed. Yeah, but this school just made a rule that you can't treat a broken arm if it's been more than two minutes. Wait, what? That's so early. That's really early. I wasn't even sure if my arm was broken. Yeah, well, I'm suing you. So. Are you with the school? Oh, or? no. Like, I'm just like another kid. Like, this has literally nothing to do with me, but now I can sue you and get $10,000. What? Yeah, and I'm suing you. And uh, did anyone help you get, get over here? Yeah, like my best friend. Yeah, okay. I'm going to sue them too. Wait, what about the bully who attacked me? Oh, no. I'm not suing him. Okay, this is clearly unconstitutional. Like, the superintendent will, will stop this. Yeah, well, the genius thing is the school isn't the one enforcing this rule. It's the kids. So that makes it harder. So what, I just have to leave my, my arm like this because you decided? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay, what if I end up struggling with it later? Well, can I ask you for support or? What? No, bro, mind your own business. 